Hello! Hello guys, and welcome back to another Black Screen. On today's stream, we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. However, before we play any Master Duel, we have other things to do. That being, new Trickstar cards. Hey look, Trickstar! They got new cards! Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna take a look at these. Uh, how many? They got a lot of new cards, holy crap. <clears throat> okay. Uh, looks like they're not getting many main deck monsters, mostly extra deck and some traps. Interesting. Saludos. Yeah, because you're speaking Spanish. I please English in the chat. Thank you. Anyway, uh, Trickstar hoodie level two light fairy effect monster uh, with two hundred eighteen. <clears throat> Uh, if you control a Trickstar Fusion or a Link Monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. Okay, fairly decent. Um, that's not an inherent. That is an activated effect. Good to know. Uh, if this card is sent to the... Wait, is that... What do the sprites do? Yeah, it's a, it's a comma, not a colon. The difference between a comma and a colon! Anyway, uh, you can special summon this card from your hand if this card is sent to the graveyard as material for the Link Summon of a Trickstar monster. You can add a Trickstar Fusion or D Trickstar D Fusion from your deck to your hand. Trickstar have a fusion? Hold on, what? <clears throat> oh no, I was looking up how the sprite cards special summon themselves. To figure out whether this was inactivated or not. Because that was the first thing that I thought of when I thought of an inherent summon. Uh, that, like, meets a condition. Trickstar Fusion? Oh. There is one Trickstar Fusion monster. That's why I didn't know about that card. <laughs> Well, now there's two! <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> okay. So if it's sent to the graveyard for link material of a Trickstar monster, you can add a Trickstar fusion or defusion from your deck to your hand. Okay, cool. Um, good to know. <clears throat> we now have the new fusion, which is Trickstar Band Dramatis. Dr Dramatis? Anyway. Uh, level 6 Light Fairy Fusion Effect Monster with 2,000, 1,000. Uh, requires two Trickstar monsters. Why does it... Okay, don't think about it. Uh, your Trickstar Link Monster, this that points to this card, gain a thousand attack. It's very weird, but okay. Uh, you can only use these the following effects of this card's name once per turn. If this card is fusion summoned, you can add a Trickstar card from your deck to your hand with a different name from the cards you control and in your grave. Interesting. Okay, so this is very similar to, uh, like, Oh my gosh, it's the Sky Striker card. Um, something with an A, an S. Um, what is this card's about? Or what is that card's name? Uh, uh, what is that Sky Striker card? I can't think of it. The water one. The, the water link one that searches during the end phase. Similar effect. Anyway, beside the point. Um, if the player takes damage, you can target a face-up a monster on the field that changes its attack to zero. Huh. Interesting. No, not the field spell. The water link one that searches during the end phase. Uh, uh, Sky Striker, uh, Sky Striker Ace... What's up, Sirius? Or Sirius? How's it going? Shizuku! Thank you! Oh my gosh. Yes, Shizuku. Uh, my brain was dying. But very similar style of effect where it's like, cool, you do get a search, but like, you can't search something that you've already used. <clears throat> Just relaxing in bed. Nice. Um, fairly decent, though. Like, being able to add anything is pretty good. Okay. 
Uh, we have Colchia. Col Colchica? Colchica? I don't know. Uh, which is a Link 1 Light Fairy Link effect monster with 200 with a bottom arrow. It's Link 1. I immediately don't like this. Uh, a non-Link Trickstar monster. Sure. Didn't we already have one of you? Okay, now, now Trickstar has another Link 1, which is something. Which means now you can literally start with normal summon Trickstar hoodie, link it off, and then special summon this guy. Or Bloom to get an effect. Uh, which this says you can only special summon this card once per turn. Um, when a monster is destroyed by battle involving your Trickstar monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, then target one of your destroyed monsters, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack to the attack it had on the field. Okay, so wait. When a monster is destroyed by battle involving your Trickstar monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card and target one of those destroyed monsters, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack it had on the field. Okay. So basically, like, boosts would count. So if, like, you were to destroy Access Code Talker by battle, and it was boosted to, like, 4,300. I don't know how you're doing that in Trickstar, but let's say you do that somehow. You would take 40... You could banish this to deal 43. Sure. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, Trickstar Noble Angel, which is a link to Light Fairy of... Uh, link of sorry, a link to light fairy link effect monster with 2000, and then obviously we're only giving every link to has had these same arrows for the past like several months. I don't think there has been a new card, a new link monster, specifically link two, that hasn't had like interesting link arrows. They've all been the exact same. They've they've all been this. I can't think of a new one that's had not these arrows. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> two trick star monsters. If this card is linked, summoned, you can add a blue tears card from your deck to your hand. Are there other blue tier cards? Maybe? No? Maybe not? Intr is it just that one card? Is it just the Maiden of Blue Tears? There might be another one. I'm not going to try and look that up. Okay, interesting. Uh, if you have a Fusion Monster on your field or in your grave, you can target a Trickstar Monster in your graveyard, Special Summon it. Okay. Just a free Special Summon. I don't like this. I don't like this. Angel of Blue Tears? Uh -huh. I figured there were more cards, seeing as how it's just like Blue Tears cards. But, okay. Trickstar Noble... Thank you combo with the first link. Fair enough. Uh, special summon. If either player takes effect damage, you can target a face-up card on the field. Destroy it. It does target, notably. And it only targets face-up. That's still pretty good, though, for Trickstar. Just think summon at a blue tiers. If you have a fusion, you get a special summon to Trickstar from Grave. Eh, fairly decent. Okay. Trickstar Defusion. Or Diffusion. Uh, normal Trap, activate one of these effects. Fusion, summon a Trickstar Fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing its materials from your grave. Or, immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon a Trickstar monster. You can banish this card from your grave. Okay, that's... That's it. So you can either Fusion summon by banishing the materials, or you can Link summon. Okay. Good to know. Um... <clears throat> Then they have a secondary effect. Secondary? Yeah. Tertiary effect. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Trickstar monster you control. This turn, your opponent cannot target monsters for attacks, except that monster while you control it. Um. Okay. What is the... I'm not really seeing what makes this so useful in this list. What does the other fusion do? I would imagine nothing, right? Fake damage inflicted to your opponent by your Trickstar linked. Link monster linked to this card is doubled. Okay, that's pretty terrible. 
Um, if your opponent takes damage by a trickstar monster effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage they took once per turn during the end phase. If this card attacks this turn, it's attacking. Okay. Th this one doesn't. I guess this one adds blue tears, so like you can blink and search a card. I get that it's a free fusion, but it's only a free fusion if you're setting the card. Or through, like, other weird manipulation. You could also just add, like, the regular fusion card, though. Which I would imagine does similar things. Fusion summon a trickstar from hand to field. This fusion material, you can finish this card from your graveyard, then target a trickstar monster in your graveyard out of your hand, but you can't own a special summon monsters with that name for the rest of this turn. Sure. Like. Okay. I'm sure there's some shenanigans you could do with this. It's only a trickstar fusion. Okay. Can you do anything with Link Summon? Does anything, like, trigger on Link Summon? That's, like, notable? Most of the most of these don't, right? Like, Holy Angel... kind of does stuff. Hmm. Okay. And then, Maiden of Blue Tears. If your opponent special summons a monster, and you control a Link monster, you can target one of those summoned monsters, destroy it, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack. Okay. Um, that's actually not terrible. If either player takes effect damage while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, and then target a normal spell in your graveyard or banishment. Set it. But it cannot be activated this turn. You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. Okay. Interesting. I mean, yeah, it's okay. None of these are, like, crazy. They're just... I mean, it... They're all pretty good at, you know, nickel and diming. And adding, like, just that little bit more for trick stars. To get that little bit more burn damage, to get that little bit more control. And I think it's fine. It's just like a, a step up from what they previously had. The monsters don't seem strong enough. Yeah. I don't know. This one's, this one's good. It's a free special summon. It's a free search. It's pretty good. This one This one's actually like really good. Just being able to freely get a body on field as well as start your plays. Other than that, like everything else is kind of mid. The traps are nice. The traps are okay. Having like a secondary effect is very nice, but they're still traps, right? So it's not like you're doing much with them going second. It's not like they're... And they also don't do too much as well. Like you can search both of them, but they're not like immediately winning you the game. They're not like Revolt or something like that, right? Because like Tri Brigade Revolt is, is like, a trap card that I look at, and I'm like, cool, if your trap card doesn't do something of that caliber, then it's only go ever going to be played as, like, a search target. They need real interaction? Yeah. And, like, you're adding more, like, cards that you kind of need that stop you from playing other such non-engine, Right? So, like, these are going to stop you from playing non-engine because you kind of do need them. They're very useful and very neat. Like, I, I would imagine they're pretty needed, right? And then on top of all of the other stuff, it's just, like, you can't really run a lot of non-engine. I don't know. I know Lithium made a video. Should I try and find that video? I know Lithium made a video about it. Just play the spell fusion? Yeah. I, that's the thing. I don't know. There it is. It's right there. It's right there in my recommended. And it says, ban rollback, please. Because Lithium cooks. He cooks. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new Trickstar support. Let's take a look. Um, The new support is decent. -ish. First wave was, the, you know, initially with okay, what or Trickstar he... gut, but it um, oh, he just it, immediately goes know, into it, it feels that the first wave players. was, the, you know, initially with... He's playing with Fiendsmith! Wait, what? Hold on. What's happening? Oh, he's just playing with Fiendsmith stuff. Yeah, he's only playing one of this card. The He's not even playing the other one. Wrong one. He's just playing Maiden. He's not playing D-Fusion. D-Fusion kind of sucks, which I agree with. 
And then transaction rollback? What is what is this degeneracy that you have cooked, my good sir? Lithium made a trick Arvid, so the support is bad then? Lithium has made... I don't know if you have checked. Lithium has made videos on literally every single new support. Like, literally every single one of them. Drytron, Gimmick Puppet, Fiendsmith, Trickstar. It doesn't matter. New support comes out, he's playing it. Diffusion is a terrible card. I will agree. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some new Trickstar support. Let's take a look. Um, the new support is decent-ish. Well, some of them are actually okay for the deck. Um, I started off with playing pure Trickstar, but I, um, I wasn't too happy about that. Like the... He's only playing one of this card. What? Oh, you can just, like, search it with Candina. Okay, what is... Okay, please explain to me Like, like the previous support, doing. the first wave up until, like, I don't know how many waves of support Trickstar yeah, got, but it, um, it, it, you know, it feels that the first wave was, the, you know, initially with Candina, uh, the, the, you know, light stage, the Trickstar uh -huh. field spell, that was a better, to the best support. Yeah, so and you go link one into link one. Comedy. And then grab so the here and there, there and are some decent support cards, but it doesn't really change that much for the deck. But then again, the new support is, is okay-ish. This is one of the new Link 2s, which is probably one of the better Links the deck has to offer. Okay. Uh, I'm not focusing on Wait, the Link... hold on. Hold on. No shot, that's what we're doing. What? Do you think that the new Unchained cards coming to Master Duel will bring the deck out of Rogue? Uh, it's currently not in Rogue. So... Yeah, probably. Um, I wouldn't consider it rogue. I wouldn't consider it a deck that could contest even any of like the second tier decks. Um, but with that being said, with the new support, it will be... Unless Snake Eyes somehow doesn't get hit, which would be pretty surprising. Um... Unless Snake Eyes somehow doesn't get hit, it would probably be a Tier 1 contender. Maybe not actually Tier 1, but around there. Um, it's definitely going to be used as an engine in lab, I would imagine. So... For... I don't see a point, in all honesty. Oh, he's doing the... Yeah, I'm, I'm focusing spell. on other so, things. Like, we'll wait, why. why is there For a sure, Fable card um, in your grave? The new cards, like the new fusion, uh, you know, the Trickstar fusion spell, mm -hmm. which recurs from the graveyard, is searchable off of a new level level 2. It's basically a Link 1 play. Beatrice! Um, so that alone, the deck having access to a couple of Link 1s, Link upgrading, going for the new Link 2, which is reborn. It was Beatrice the entire time. <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> Oh, tragic. <laughs> okay, I get it now. <laughs> Never mind. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> it's just Beatrice doing Beatrice things. That's not that's not changing anything. Would I consider Unchained better than other combo decks like Super Heavy Samurai and Mana? Um No. The problem with Unchained is Maxi existing. Unchained is really good if Maxi doesn't exist, and it's really terrible if Maxi does exist. Because it plays very similar to something like Salomon Great right now, where you just kind of have to play the game. Like, you have to summon a whole bunch of things just to kind of, like, do the basic combo and do the basic lines. Um, <clears throat> it does have a, a way of potentially playing around Maxi, which gives it a little bit more power than something like those other decks, and it doesn't lose as bad to things like Droll and Nibiru and stuff like that. But, I don't know. Maxi is just such a powerhouse that it's hard to really say. Like, in the OCG, uh, if we go to Road of the King, I'm sure we could find a an old metagame where that deck was, like, around. Oh, this was T-Limit meta, sorry. A little bit further. Um, was there ever a metagame with Unchained? I don't think there was. I think it was, I, I think Unchained just didn't exist in this. Because of Maxi. Like, there were a few Labyrinth builds with it, but other than that, I don't think it was like anything else. We should go forward in time. Yeah, there were a few, like, Unchained Lab lists. Which is mostly what I would expect it to be. Why are they not... Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. So basically the idea is, like, 
with Arius being a level 6 and with the Shivara also being a level 6, um, I think? Oh, no, you don't actually just... Yeah. It's just because they're fiends, so you can go into this and then search Shivara, and then Shivara also gives you access to the to the trap, which then gives you, like, another interaction that you can go for um, with, like, actually good extra deck monsters and stuff like that. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, when it comes to... Like, it was great in the TCG, but in the OCG it just wasn't because of the fact that Maxi exists. So it's hard to really say. I think in Master Duel, in a best of one, it'll probably be... It'll probably be a little bit better, but... Better than Super Heavy Samurai? <clears throat> I think Super Heavy Samurai is just like really bad in the best of one. Um, same thing with, like, a mana. But it'd probably be around there. <clears throat> it's always Beatrice. Can we ban her again, please? No, Beatrice is funny. Anyway, um, I want to look at some of these decks real quick. Tistina. 54 card. Oh, it's just tier limit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Snake Eye. Yeah, I think I do want to play Silvera in my Snake Eye list. I'm playing 42. Oh, they're not playing Nib. Oh, that's wild. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I think I also want to cut my second one. <clears throat> Labyrinth. It's evil, I trust. Trust, chat. It's evil. I'm talking about evil. <clears throat> we're not playing three Ghost Mourner. That's not something that we're doing. I guess we can't play Imperm, so... Sure. It's, are there not better options? Really? Uh, okay. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Ooh, Spiral. New Spiral list just dropped. Let's go. Wait, this is just Snake Eyes. Wait a second. Wait a second! This is just Snake Eyes! Never mind. Never mind. Tragic. Marin says. I guess. The thing with playing these cards is that if anyone isn't prepared for them, you do just kind of win the game. Just like, oh. Are we playing triple tag? We're playing two triple tag and two change of heart. Hmm. Odd. Just a wing. We're not playing pot of desires. Hold on. What? It's, it's fine. It's fine. Just don't. Just don't think about it. I guess because we need wave a lot more in Master Duel, it makes sense since we can't go into Toad. Infernoid! Can we ban? Can we please ban Grass? Can we please? Please just ban Grass. <clears throat> yeah, one Battle Ocean makes sense. Please? Please. Based Infernoids? What are you talking about? Okay, why is it that every Snake Eye player is playing Silvera? Oh, this guy's not. But they're all playing Subversion, too. What is happening? Bruh. What? Stop! It's painful! It's painful! Don't look! Alright, we're done. I don't like Desires in Master Duel specifically for Marincess. That's fair. Uh, okay. I wanted to do a chill stream today. So we're gonna... I'm gonna rank fast food locations real quick-like based on my American bias. There you go. Will the new Raid Raptor cards have an impact on their position in the meta? In Master Duel? No. Maxi exists. And it's not going anywhere right now. There you go. It has the same, a similar issue to things like Unchained. So, 
<clears throat> anyway, I've tried a lot of these places, but not all of them. Alright. A&W. Is pretty mid. It's not terrible. I do like... I'm actually trying to think if I do like any of their food. And I will be taking price into consideration for these because I find it actually does matter most of the time. Because if I'm spending like $14 on a burger, that burger better be incredible. And if it's not, why would I ever do that? Uh, you know what? A&W can go in F tier. I like Arby's. I'm going to put it in A tier. I like Arby's. It's nice. It's cheap. I, The main reason I like it their cheddar roast beef sandwiches are fantastic. That's it. And their curly fries, god tier. If it was just based on the curly fries, they'd be an S. Period. Yo, Burger King is trash in America. I'm sorry, I cannot... Objectively, I cannot put Burger King in anywhere but, like, F tier. Burger King in the States is so bad. If we're talking outside of the States, Burger King is so good. It's incredible. I don't know how they do that but i how just i just make it the same way that you make it in argentina please anyway that's all uh never had this one i've had blimpies it's so bad never had i think i've had boston market and i can't remember it so i'm just gonna ignore that uh canes i love canes canes is good i like canes uh good chicken Texas toast, toast is great. I think for the price, it's also a lot of food, which is very nice. Um, obviously, the sauce is incredible. I feel like we all... If you had canes, you probably know that. So there's that. Burger King, Burger King is mid in my area, at least. That's nice. I... I I'm going to put it in C. They have... The thing with Burger King is that their burgers are tragic. They're really bad. They have, like, okay fries, but you can get good fries at, like, almost any other location. Except for, like, McDonald's. We'll get to McDonald's. And then... But I've gotten... They have these new wraps. And their spicy wraps are actually pretty good. And so because of that, I, I feel like I actually can't put them at F tier. But there you go. Just in time for the fast food drinking? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, Carl's Jr. is all... It's basically just Burger King. Like, they're not... They're not doing anything great. I've never been here. Uh, Chick-fil-A have some decently good chicken. I like most of their food. I think their sauce... I think a big thing with chicken is that it has to have a good sauce. If you don't have a good sauce with chicken, it's nasty. For the most part. At least for me right there are some sometimes you get the nice juicy chicken most of the time that's not the case you're coating that thing in sauce and you need to have a good sauce canes has incredible sauce chick-fil-a has incredible sauce i think canes chicken is just a little bit better and because of that chick-fil-a is in it there you go had raising case recently um as i went to cali and uh, i'm not a condiment guy so it's probably different for you yeah that see that's the thing i i think chicken you you gotta have good sauce with it Popeye's on here? Uh, I would imagine, yeah, it's over here. We'll get to it. Chipotle, I think, is fine. I'm actually going to move Chipotle down as well. Um, and the main reason for both of these is that the, they're, they're just too expensive. Chipotle is not good enough unless... It, like, it's not good unless you get guacamole, and the guacamole is, like, super expensive. And if you get, like a burrito or a bowl or whatever you get, it's going to be more expensive, right? And because of that, I just feel like it's not as worth it. It's decently tasty. I'll even put it above Chick-fil-A. Church's is fine. It's just it's just chicken. It's not like insane chicken. But it's, it's, okay, it can't be on the same tier as Burger King. I'm sorry. <clears throat> In fact, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, yeah, there we go. That, that seems better. <clears throat> it's employees are ass. That has... Some may, right? Yeah. Never been to cookout. Culver's, I think, is also overrated. However, their concrete mixers are fantastic. Ooh, they make really good ice cream. 
Um, I know a lot of people really like their butter burgers. I'm not a big fan of their butter butter burgers. They're not that great, um, but they are they're decently good, right? Uh, I, I don't think they do anything like great. They're like the middle of the road. They're like the perfect middle of the road place. Uh, same with Denny's. I. I can't say anything bad about Denny's. Denny's is fine. I know a lot of people don't like Denny's, but they're fine. For what they are supposed to be, they are great. Uh, Culver's made to order is honestly the best thing about them. Yeah. Is Zaxby's on here? Yes. It's the last one. Domino's! If we're talking... If we're talking specifically pizza, and specifically like fast food delivery style pizza, quick service kind of pizza, Domino's is probably the best. Nunca escuché el pollo loco. Escuché el pollo loco. Anyway, Domino's is fine. Uh, I I think it's just fine it's really good i think <sighs> that is that is true domino's is very area dependent as well which i think a lot of places just a lot of like american play i don't know i've only had good experiences with it i am gonna move it down though because i think there is one that's better we'll get to that domino's is in theory good but i've had mixed service with them see that's i agree i have also had mixed uh mixed experiences but for the most part i've had pretty good pizzas my family makes amazing pizza from scratch see that's the thing it, because I, this is specifically like a fast food thing it's like yeah i obviously prefer like the pie or my dad has like a, a recipe for his own homemade pizza and that's like significantly better than any delivery or anything like that but in terms of delivery in terms of fast food yeah domino's is pretty good dq kind of sucks i hate it i do not care for their ice cream it's not that great it's yeah just bad el pollo loco is fine uh i think it's just like a good mexican chicken place that's it it's not really anything too fancy it's like a slightly worse chipotle and i do mean slightly it's definitely better than churches though uh firehouse subs is the goat oh goodness gravy i love this place they make juicy sandwiches and it is very nice and it's very like a it's, it's reasonably affordable but it is so incredibly tasty it's so good uh next up five guys five guys is thoroughly expensive so i can't put them in s tier but they are very tasty they're very good they're good they're good but i like dq sorry Five Guys is fun. I like it. Yummy. Delicious. They also put so many fries. I am a fry fiend. I love fries. They are my favorite. And so, because of that, like, fries are going to score higher in a lot of places. So, like, if you make good fries, you're going to score higher. IHOP is fine. Yeah. I'm actually going to move all of these down a tier. They're all on the Burger King tier. In and out. In and out is good. I like In and Out. It's it's way overhyped. Its price is incredible. Being able to get that that amount of food for like five bucks is great. Fantastic budget option, kind of. But it's nothing special. And I know people are like. Oh, you gotta try the secret menu. The secret menu is where it's at. I've tried some of the secret menu stuff. And also, I don't care to look up a secret menu. If it's not right there on the menu, why should I care about it? Yeah? Uh, but second of all, the secret menu stuff is fine. It's okay. It's not it, It's not changing the product enough to be like, oh, it makes it so much better. It makes it all of a sudden an S tier. It's a good burger place. That's cheap. It's great. It's... It, it's a great place. It's just not insane. It's not in my highest caliber. 
I have not had Whataburger. I don't think there are any like near me. I wish I had had it because I hear only good things about it. But I, I don't think there are any near me. Jack in the Box, I have had like once. And I don't remember it being anything special. I'm relying on your taste. I haven't had food from 90% of these places. Fair. Uh, Jersey Mike's is a good sub shop. I think it's fairly... It's, it's pretty middle of the road. Um, Mike's Way is pretty nice. Being able to like actually get vinegar and red... Uh, or, or red wine vinegar and the olive oil is pretty nice on your... Ver or on your... Uh, Sandwich. Just, yeah, it's just like a really good sandwich. Is it better than In N Out? No. Better than Culver's, though. I live in the Midwest. I haven't had most of these places. Fair enough. Every Whataburger I've seen is awful. Interesting. That's the first, like, dissenting voice that I've heard about Whataburger. For the most part, I've only heard good things. Uh, Jimmy John's is super fast, but it is still pretty good. And then, another thing, you gotta get the Kickin' Ranch. Or it's not Kickin' Ranch. It's like the Jalapeno Ranch thing. It's basically Kickin' Ranch, what they had previously. But if you get the sauce, the sauce is good. And it makes the burger, or the uh, sandwich a lot better. If you don't get the sauce, it's like, down here, it's super dry. But with the sauce, it's fantastic. They're all near high schools. Okay, see that? Yeah, that does change things. Never been to Jollibee. KFC. KFC, KFC. Uh, I think Church's Chicken is a little bit better, but they're like the exact same thing. They're whatever chicken. Little Caesars. Little Caesar, $5 for a full pizza is wild. It's not good, but it is hot and it is ready. And you know what? There you go. That's all you need. It's hot and it's ready and it's a $5 pizza. There you go. Bajo la calidad and super hate. Mmm. KFC in America is like fine. Uh, although I've heard KFC in Japan is like fantastic, which is kind of funny. Long John Silver's, I don't think I've ever been to. Mickey D's. Eh. I'm not a fan of them. I'll put them above Denny's. Uh, McDonald's has like one good thing and it's the quarter pounder and that's like it everything else is just like eh. long john silvers is food poisoning hmm. kfc is one of the few places i've been to genuinely where i've been to genuinely worse than burger king fair enough I, yeah, you can make the argument KFC is where it, honestly, like, all of this row right here is, like, interchangeable. <clears throat> What's the places around there? Yeah, there. McDonald's is fine. It's, I, yeah, I don't know. I, their fries are, like, mid. They're addictive as hell, but they're not very good once you actually eat them. KFC in Japan is good. Um, it needs to be... Uh, if they want to compete with the street food there. True. True. I've never been to Moe's. Never been to Noodles & Co. Panda. I personally really love Panda. I'm going to put it pretty high. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I really do. I think Panda Express is just... I don't know. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food, and it's very... Like, it's decent food. It's not, like, insane. I do like their chow mein. Long John Silver's is a front company. They never have customers, but stay open. Mm. They're like Christmas. It's like Christmas food for that. Yeah. KFC is so weird. In That's the thing. Like Burger King. I've had Burger King in Argentina. And it was the best thing I had in Argentina. And like Argentina has like really good meat in particular. Um, so I had, like, a bunch of barbecues and stuff like that that were really good, but I don't know what they did, but somehow, like, the best burger I've ever had was in Argentina at Burger King, and I was like, what the hell? It was even better than the McDonald's burgers there, which is so funny. But yeah, very good. 
in other places. And that's, I feel like the same with almost any of these, where it's just like, they're just better other places. In America, they're terrible. KFC in Dubai is out of this world. And there you go. <clears throat> uh, I've actually never been to Panera. I don't know if there's one near me. There might be. But I've never been. Okay, Papa John's. Papa John's, I did... I love Papa John's. The little garlic that they give you, mmm, genius. Their pizzas are fantastic because of that little garlic. Panera is good, but it's so expensive. That's what I've heard. You're not missing out on anything. Panera's mid. There you go. Two very different uh, opinions. Panera has good soup. All right. Panera is only for people with allergies. That's comedy. Never heard of this place. Penn Station. Never heard of this place. I'm sorry. Pizza Hut is like the worst pizza I've ever had. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Somehow it's worse than Little Caesars. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Maybe it's just a quality thing near me. Maybe I just don't have any good Pizza Huts near me. Doesn't matter. It's bad. Moving on. Popeyes is fine. I think it's okay. I don't think there's anything special about it. It's like decently good chicken. That's it. <clears throat> Is he the phone? Eh, you're not missing much there. If it leaves Panama, you're fine. <laughs> Hopefully you have a better place. Uh, Portillo's. I, there are so many of these. I've had Quiznos. Quiznos sucks. Oh, wait. No, I haven't had Blimpies. I've had Quiznos. Quiznos is terrible. Roy Rogers. Nope. I've seen Sabaro so many times. Never had it. I I have never looked at Sabaro and been like, that's what I want. Uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack is good. Uh, it's expensive, but it is definitely overhyped. I want to put I want to put it down here because it's overhyped, but it is good. Like it it is good food. Uh, it is very expensive though. Um, it's like a slightly better In and Out though. Pizza Hut is my child. Pizza Hut is your childhood. That's good where I come from. Yeah. It's not a big competition. I I genuinely like. I would never put Pizza Hut higher than either Domino's or Papa John's. But if you would say, like, oh, I have it, and it's fairly decent, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Like, if you put it above Little Caesars, that's fine. I have personally never had a Pizza Hut where I've been like, that was better than just, like, a chicken nugget from McDonald's or, like, any of that. I, I, It's just not good for me, for the most part. Like, none of it is... Yeah, none of the experiences I've had has been worthwhile. Like, I'll just get a Little Caesars and have a dry, nasty $5 pizza, but it, it was 5 bucks. The pizza hut cleared McDonald's easily back in the day? Yeah. Sheets. Oh, this is like the gas station. Never been here. This is like solely in the Midwest, so I've just, I, I've never been there. Skyline, never been to. Sonic, Sonic is decent. Um, not insane, but like fairly decent. Uh, I, I, I think their tater tots are pretty good. They have some good like slushies. Um, they have like a toaster that I really like. It's like, it's basically just like a sandwich, but on like toasted bread, which I think is pretty good. But for the most part, it's nothing special. Uh, Steak and Shake's fine. Nothing like too great. They're mostly just in like food courts. Uh, Subway is tragically bad. In comparison to even Jimmy John's, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Can't remember the last time I ate Pizza Hut. Fair enough. Swenson's. Taco Bell! Taco Bell, solely based on price, is insane. Is Arby's A tier only for the fries? No. They're also really good. They also have really good um, roast beef and cheddar sandwiches. I like their roast beef and cheddar sandwiches. They're fantastic. But Taco Bell, let's talk about Taco Bell. Um, Taco Bell is incredible for its price. That's it. 
That's like the only thing that I can say there. You get so much food for like 10 bucks. It's incredible. Sonic is just fun to go to, I feel like. True. But it's also decently good food. Uh, yeah. And I am basing this slightly on price as well, which is why Taco Bell is up here. If we're just talking about the food, it's not great. It's not the greatest food. But they do have a few items that are pretty good. Uh, their burritos are pretty good. Um, their chalupas, I think, are decent. They have those nachos fries that are insanely tasty. And they have Baja Blast, which, like, no other place has, which is great. I have never been to Waffle House. I'm going to let you know. Never been to Waffle House. There aren't any Waffle Houses near me. Sorry. Same with Wawa. Never been there. Wendy's? Uh, Wendy's is a personal favorite of mine for burger places. I really like it. I think it's pretty good. I like their Baconators. I feel like shit afterwards, but it's tasty. Where's Hooters? I don't know. I've never been to Hooters either. Is Arby's that good? I've seen memes about Mr. Crab dying from Arby's food. Arby's is... I think most of these places just get bad raps because they're like fast food. And like, to be fair, none of this food is like good food. Besides maybe like these two right here. These two are like actually good food. Everything else is just like good fast food. Uh, I only know Waffle House for the Fight Club. Yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Wendy's. Uh, I like most of... Also, Wendy's does a lot of like switching... Not switching, but like different burgers. They'll like trade out burgers. Like they have a nacho one right now. They've done like... Um, like a pretzel bun burger, which has been pretty good. And most of their, like, seasonal, I guess, burgers have been pretty decent. I, I don't know. I always get Wendy's. I, their fries are fantastic. They have the best fries, period. Besides, I guess, besides Arby's. If Arby's had better burgers, they'd be up where with Wendy's. I love fries. So there you go. Biggie Bag is a great deal. Is P.F. Chang's on here? No. This is all, like, fast food. It's not anything else. I... I've never been to White Castle. I'm sure there's one near me. But it's not, like, near enough to where I can easily go to it if I'm wanting a burger. It's like I'd have to actually take the trip to go to White Castle. So I've never been. I, I, I just don't know. Wiener Schnitzel, never been to. Never been to. Wingstop's pretty good. I like Wingstop. Um... It's good. It's good food. Uh, <clears throat> not insane, but decent for fast food. Uh, Zaxby's, also never been to. Sorry. <laughs> I've gone to a lot of places. A lot of them are just not near me, or not things that I necessarily enjoy. So I just wouldn't really get them. But there you go. You know what? Let's do this. Um... <sighs> we'll make this one uh, blue. There you go. That that looks better. Why will we clean your constipation for days? <laughs> Have I been to Fazoli's? Uh, is that like that? I think it is. It's the one with like the apple icon, right? Let me, let me look that up real quick. Ooh. Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, it's a tomato, not an apple. I'm I'm just stupid. This thing, right? This one? Fazoli's? Because if so, yes, they're fantastic. They're great. I'd put them in A tier. Easy. The one closest to me closed down years ago? Same! It, had, it actually ended up being a, an El Pollo Loco afterwards. And I was I was like, man, I don't care about this. And I was correct. It was, it was tragic. Their breadsticks, their breadsticks are so good. Bro, I could just, like, 
I am not a fan of pasta. Crucify me. I know. It's just not my thing. I don't know why. I've just... I've never really enjoyed it. But those breadsticks are fire. And that's like the, one of the reasons I actually enjoy this place. Their pasta is good too. And, okay. Before I get more people mad. It's not that I hate pasta or that I don't like it. It's just I'd rather have other things. That's it. If pasta is put in front of me, great. I'll eat it. It'll be great. And I'll enjoy it. If I have a choice of something else, most of the time, I'll get something else. Not always, but most of the time. Sometimes I want pasta. <clears throat> That's all. I don't like how heavy it is. I like spaghetti. I like fettuccine alfredo. I think they're good. I'm not going to actively seek them out or actively choose them over something like a burger. I enjoy burgers more. Or like a sandwich. Or a taco or something like that. <clears throat> I don't know why I don't like pasta as much. It's just, it, yeah, it's just more of like a a and W root beer is top tier for me personally. <clears throat> okay, if we're just talking the root beer, the A and W root beer, godlike, S tier, perfect, no notes. If we're talking about the food, <laughs> it is not good. Pasta is mood. See, I. You can have pasta. I think pasta is great. I'm, like, if you were to be like, hey, let's go to Olive Garden. I'd be like, okay. But if you were like, hey, do you want to go to Olive Garden or another place? I'd probably choose another place. That's it. Especially if it's something that's like, oh, hey, let's go to a place that could serve something other than pasta. It's like, all right, fair <clears throat> My mom makes top tier sp spaghetti and fettuccine. Maybe that's it. My mom has only ever made like terrible spaghetti. So, I am not Italian. I have never had, like, Italian family or Italian friends or people who just enjoy pasta. Most of it is just like, cool, here's some pasta. So, <clears throat> I'm sure if I had good pasta consistently, I would like it more. I just have <clears throat> Anyway, that's all. <clears throat> let's play, let's uh, ruin our lives and play more of this great, fantastic, wonderful event. This is what y'all came to see, right? Um. Okay, first things first, I do think I want to play Silvera. Because there have been a lot of instances where my opponent will, like, max see me, and I'm like, okay, well, I probably want to slap down, like, you know, I'll, I'll special summon the Diabell Star, and then they'll, like, Maximi, and I'll just like have to set this. I also kind of want to play Gamma. I want to try playing Gamma. <clears throat> Boop, uh, but there he is. And I'm going to cut a lullaby. Do I just cut lullaby? I'm going to just cut lullaby. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. <clears throat> Some of the best restaurants are mom and pa shops. Exactly. Excel for Baron. I could. That is an option. It's looking like a Nash list. <clears throat> yeah. Would you rather eat mid to subpar fast food than grind through the ladder? Absolutely. Oh, I also only want to play one of these. Oops. Sure. I don't think I'll play Subversion. I don't think that's worth it. Rota, sure. Wow, your hand was goaded, dude. Why can I never get hands like that? Oh, I'm sorry, Rika. I was just like, oh, I want to have a chill stream today. 
Am I dual level max? No. Go, oh, is that a kick hollow? How much do I want to bet they have called by and this just doesn't matter? <clears throat> or they already have Sully out and it just doesn't matter. They could have triple tack. That would actually be pretty bad too. Wild. <laughs> Droll's not really all that great right now. Just hard draw the polymerization, dude. Damn. Damn. Tragic. They drew the field spell. They drew Rhoda. They drew the one of polymerization. He's just better. <sighs> He's just better. Also, these mills are... Kind of bad from my opponent. I'm not gonna lie. Here comes Rukolos for sure. No. No shot. You just have Celiac. Nah. Not real. Not real. Uh, sure. That's that's something. At the very least. Okay. Wheel, a special summon by pitching you. It's not called by. I know that. It's probably Soliac. I doubt that they're playing Imperm. Playing Ashley. Dragostopelia here? That's a very odd choice. Okay. Give me that ass. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, normal summon. Snake Eye Ash. Yep, yep, yep. Grab Poplar. It could be Meta Noise. Well, it could be a lot of things, actually. It could be crime, and they held a monster in hand. Grab the field spell. Grab the field spell. Go Flomberg. Link off. For you. Worst drag artist is Pelia of all time. not worst, but it definitely was up there in terms of quality. Or lack thereof, I should say. Uh, this could be called by, which could be a little frustrating, to say the least. Sure, summon oak. Oak effect. We'll bring back the poplar, because it's funny. Or is that going to be shuffled? It is. Okay. Who do they have in grave? They have an ash. That's comic. Un d'entre. Sure. <clears throat> if I see you pitch original sin, I'm not negating that witch. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, how many spells? Oh, we have plenty of enough spells. Okay. Um. Nikita with that. I get someone like Birch here. Which like isn't terrible. How do I how do I get this out of there? No. Oh, I kinda don't. <clears throat> Could go dark with these two into Celine. Is that worth it? Does that do anything? strange here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go for heat uh, with these two. 
tell that they've gotten rid of that guy. Bring out this guy. Pick up you up. Go for Selene. Go for Elf. Go for Elf. Elf doesn't do anything. Oh, Elf would bring that Kita into Selene. Oh, but then Selene wouldn't have a target. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Go like this. <clears throat> I had enough. I had enough spells. <laughs> uh, bring back you here. Imagine if you triggered there, that would have been crazy. Um, go Baron. Let's go with Baron. Call this guy. <clears throat> Could go Amblo here, which kind of doesn't do anything. Uh, let's just go battle here. We'll attack here. Go here. And we'll go here. I guess Amblo's still not terrible though. No! I went to end phase! Fuck! <sighs> Thanks, game. <clears throat> you should really ask you, are you sure? On end phase. Just a simple, are you sure? That's it. No, that was just genuinely a misclick. I went to click this, and I went to click main phase two, and my my mouse was just too far to the right, and I clicked end phase. That wasn't me like, oh, I'm gonna go to the end phase. That was me like, literally, my mouse was just in the wrong spot. Sure they are. <sighs> Set this one. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine they're gonna like crash here or something. They're gonna crash and then they're gonna go like normal summon Rhino Heart. <clears throat> okay, that one's an imperm. Guaranteed. game actively is. No. No. It's actually trying to get me killed. <clears throat> yeah, I fucking knew it. Yeah, that's fine. That was definitely, this is definitely an infirm. <clears throat> Lucky me, I have the called by. They're definitely confused as to how they got this far. You know what? Sure, that's fine. You can mill too. Of course you fucking hit snow. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh... 
Uh-huh. Snow effect. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> They'd have to banish everything if they wanted to activate the snow again, so I'll just call by it. Maxi. It's crazy that Yu-Gi-Oh made your reading skill better. Yeah. Except my character went as far as closing the game. Yeah. Thanks to Yu Gi Oh! My English gets better. Fair enough. I know the difference now between a colon and a semicolon. <laughs> he tried. He did. I almost handed him that game, to be fair. Why am I playing Gamma? Oh. Sending happiness. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> yep. Honestly, I shouldn't play Gamma. Gamma, the problem is though that Gamma here is so good. I have to hit the Vion, right? Like, that's the one thing that I should hit. No shot, your hand is just that fucking good, dude. Ugh. Man, I hate Euro so much. Because their hand is always just pure gas. So it's like, even if you do anything, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't you don't stop them. They just get to play the game for free. It's like, great, thanks. Awesome. And then Hero players are like, oh! But freaking, uh... The, um, Raigeki. And it's like, yeah, great, you lose to a board wipe. Yeah, so does, like, everyone. You're not special. And also, sometimes you don't. Why would I save the imprint for Dark Law? They can quick play summon the Dark Law, so they could summon it after I have a monster on field. Yeah, if they're bad, sure. I should I should save it for the dark one. They're probably not bad. And then they get to go Mali. Or they get to go for the link to, and then into Mali, and then into Mali again, and then into Mali a third time, because it's <laughs> At least we know they didn't open mask change. Yeah. Bring back Mally. And then we tribute the Mally for another free guy. they do have mask change and they just were like mm, I don't need Devion because I have full combo through every no it's fine 
No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Trust. Come here. They always have it. You have motherfucking plasma too? This game actively hates me. I... You can't say that that is not the game legitimately despising my existence. I draw one hand trap that does nothing against that deck. For turn, I draw a dead card. I draw my one hard garnet. Two cards that are going to do nothing on my turn. And a bad play starter, and my opponent gets to draw perfect. Yeah, that seems fine. No, that seems normal. Oh, and this happens consistently? Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Yep, sure. Okay, now... Now I can play the game. That's crazy. It would be a play starter if the skill drain on legs wasn't there. Well, it's not. I mean, yeah, it is kind of a play starter, but it's a bad play starter. Do you have the called by or do you not? like special summon Fenrir pass. Is that one pass? Sure. I hate it here. <clears throat> oh, cool. It has to send a monster from hand to grave. Awesome. Imperm. No. Surprising. Do they have a Mexi? No, they can't have a Mexi. Can't be Mexi, can't be Veiler. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going first, I don't shotgun the uh, the shifter either. Um,
Their hand wasn't that bad. I mean, I had shifter. They could still go shifter or uh, Zeus. Am I one of the ones that believes Unchained will come next month? Why'd you phrase it like that? I mean, I don't know. There hasn't been any official leaks or anything like that. There's been nothing to say that there is. So, no. <clears throat> I don't believe for one second this goofball is on a rank 4. Will you be wrong? <laughs> Look at that. I figured... If they want to make Zeus, that's fine. I can threaten it with Bombers. choice, but okay. That is also the incorrect choice. Down it. No, it's hard making Zeus. Okay. You can activate this now. You are going to lose. Hmm. Interesting. Now are you going to fight him? Put it in the back row. Thank you. <clears throat> yup. Yup. <laughs> Alright, chain link one. Chain link two. Target. Nice shifter. At least I didn't draw a driver that time. Which is something. That's something. I don't know what, but it's something. minigame? Isn't it so fun? Smile. Do they have, like, gamma or something? That'd be wild. I'm trying to think if Oak does anything here. And I don't think it does. I think we're better off just doing this. Imperm. Oh, I need to change my deck real quick. second rise heart in his opening because this shit with shifter up he could still do the full combo if he crossed out roach i yeah i doubt he had the second rise heart in his hand but he still could have done full combo with the uh 
with that there. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't have had, like, full combo. He would have had a good hand, though. Good options, though. I would imagine they're saving the Ash Blossom for when I go Ash here. Snake Eye Ash. Would be my assumption. Or maybe it's like a bell or something like that. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Didn't think I'd make it this far. Karibo. Glomberg. Let's see. Let's go for... Does going poke here do anything? Not particularly. I'll just go... Formula, comedy, uh, let's go, Mascarena, these two, let's go Promethean, I'm certain they have something like Nib. Uh, hold on. Let's go Phoenix. Flomberg, put this guy into the back row. Activate effect of Elf, grab the formula, put him right there. Could just hard make the Baron here, instead of having to wait till the main phase. The means on the following turn, I'd be able to bring back the formula synchron and potentially make a Baron again if they do something here. Yeah, let's do that. This is likely... What is this likely? 
this is likely Sky Striker would be my thought. We will negate that. Driving targeting protection seems pretty good. Could be some other jank deck. Cosmic, sure. Targeting. I would have targeted the field spell, actually. But, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what's your last card? Oh, it's Big Welcome. Okay. Pre-sided lab. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, we'll go formula here. Uh-huh. Draw. It's a pretty good draw. It's a pretty good draw. If I do say so myself. Sure, sure. Yep, yep, yep. What, this is like Ariana? It's Lady. Um, sure, we'll go for the optional effect here. Fight the Mask Arena. Summon it. They what? They allowed this to go to standby? That's crazy. Back comes Flumber. You can grab whatever trap you fucking want. You didn't grab... What in the hell? Huh? I have questions. And a couple of concerns. Yeah, uh, what? Huh? How did... You have to fire that immediately. Yeah? Otherwise, you are not playing the game. That could have not been big... Well, it was absolutely big welcome. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back. <sighs> uh, IDP is fantastic against Snake Eyes. What are you talking about? IDP is good because it gets rid of things like Promethean, 
Um, it gets rid of, like, the pyros. So if they go, like, ash, right, you can get rid of two of the pyros. It keeps, like, enough out of the grave for something like Flomberg to kind of work. Speaking of Flomberg... Sure, dude. The best are game enders? Well, yeah, obviously. The problem is you're not really going to be able to use most of those game enders. Like, the only one that I can think of that... You know, what's a game ender against Snake Eye? That's the thing, there's not really many game enders. Comedy. <clears throat> yes, I'm aware of Shifter. Psychic and Punisher? Wait, what? I think you're thinking of a different game ender. Or ender, in general. Poplar. Imperm. just pass there to keep the poplar. We'll do this. Different dimension ground and evenly. I mean, evenly, yeah, kind of. Different dimension ground, yes. Oh. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, oh, it's birds. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. Banish, sure. Normal summon Eaglin. Yup. There he is. There he is. No shot you have to quick play. I refuse to believe it. You just don't. It's not. It's not true. Not real. <clears throat> No wonder they break. I'm playing flu. Tragic. Am I dead here? Probably not. Hit stop. Just... I... You're missing the context, so just don't worry about it. It's fine. Just... A map here and then go battle and then banish the poplar except that wouldn't do anything battle They have Stree, they have Eaglin. They might have something else. Do they have Ash? They might. Seems like it. Seems likely. They have Ash, Blossom, Enjoy Spring. 
I hate it here. Alright, let's do it again! <laughs> Maxi. Motherfucker. Yeah, of fucking course. <sighs> I guess I could set Silvera. Yeah. <clears throat> I could potentially try and draw two here, which isn't terrible. This can allow me to banish anything, right? Sure. What did they add to hand? Did they add two can? Oh no, they normal summon stream instead. Okay. to go straight into Toucan, and I know that they have a called by. That doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They still have Toucan, though. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Man, dude. Yeah, just draw whatever the fuck you want. Just, just, yeah, for sure. Fuck you, two game. Um, <clears throat> my brain just like stopped functioning. Imagine going shifter into Roach. Yeah, I mean, sure. Flunder looks great if you just do that. Birds have good hands if I don't play them? True. <clears throat> Give L star effect. Sin. Add the original sin. 
Activate original sin. Send the Poplar. Special sneak on you. Ash effect. Chain link one. Chain link two. Poplar. Put Poplar into the back row. Oh, I shouldn't have activated the Poplar there. I'm silly. Grab. Let's go for this guy. Let's go Ash. Send Poplar. Bring out Oak. Oak effect. Bring back Birch. It's funny. Let's go Oak Send Summon Flumberg. Link two for IP. I should say, I shouldn't say Elf doesn't do anything here. I should say Elf doesn't do enough here. Could go Selene. Bring back Diabell Star. Which also doesn't do anything. Yeah, we'll just go Promethean here. I guess I could go Promethean into Amblo. Into Selene. I guess. Me. Amblo into Celine into Apollosa. Is that worth it? No, because then I don't have anything unless the field if the field spell gets stopped. Um Selene here isn't terrible. How many spells do I have? I actually don't think I have enough spells, so yeah, I'll just add. Because these count as continuous. Are they spells? Yeah, oh, never mind. They're continuous spells. So yeah, I did have enough. Uh, sure, we'll have this. Bro fired that so fast. Tragic. Bird. We'll go uh, one, two. We'll go Poplar. We'll grab this guy. Triple tag. No oh, warbler. Sure, that one's fine. We're gonna go IP Mascarina here. Yeah, that's fine. Let him cook? Absolutely not. I know what this deck does. I will get cooked.
Do I think Snake Eye would be tier 1 if tier was at full power? Um... Kinda depends on your definition there. Uh, let's go... Um... Yeah. Sorry, hold on. Let's go chain link... One... Oh, then I wouldn't be able to chain block. Or to negate. You know what? No effects. That's fine. <clears throat> um, sorry. If we're talking about how it was in Master Duel... Yeah, if we're talking full power, no. Well... Tier 1, no. But it'd be able to compete with Tier Lament. Because at that point, it's basically just like... Whoever goes first. Kind of. No, it's not. I'm lying to you. No. Because, yeah, if you're preparing for tier, Snake Eyes is pretty good at that. If you're just, like, playing Snake Eyes as it currently is and not preparing for tier, then, yeah, probably not. Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, would it be Tier 1? Would Snake Eye be Tier 1? Maybe? But maybe not, you know? That's fine, you can cycle a card. Maybe 1.5, but not Tier 1. Not with Tier playing on your turn. Well, with things like the Bestials being able to side deck things like DD Crow and stuff like that as well, I feel like it would be just easier. They've normaled, right? No, they haven't normaled. I still absolutely negate that. How about to what? Foreign Grave, though? So if they normal someone like a Nerval here, that's kind of a problem. Barrel Canary. Tragic. Tragic for my opponent here. <clears throat> Just make format. Abo. And the gate. Literally everything that they wanted to do. If we're talking how strong they are in Master Duel specifically, like how strong Tier Lament was in Master Duel versus how strong it, like, current Snake Eyes is, um, I think then it's a little bit more, like, interesting. Because Tier Lament only ever got one a piece of, uh, or, well, I guess, I guess they got three, right? They got three Shufflers and three Millers, right? Not insane, but pretty good. Watch them called by my ash. Watch it not fucking matter because they just threw the fucking wall out. Yep. Sure. God. Please kill it. Please kill it with fire. Please just kill it. I hate it so much. <clears throat> Make it burn. Nah. Called by? Maxi. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alright, normal summon lone uh low guy. Yay, Rika? Out of here. We do not support Rika in this chat. There he is.
They could have Ash Blossom here, which is a bit scary. If they do, can I do anything about that? Okay, I have to normal summon the Veiler here and send the Veiler away. Yeah, because they have Ash. Figured. Figured. This negates monster effects. Carter effect. They draw a Rika. You're fucking with me, right? You're kidding? You're joking. This has to be a goddamn joke. Con Con with every fiber of my being. Who printed Con Con? Please, please. I need to know so that I can find them. I can't respond to that. I can't do anything. I just had to activate Sylvan there to negate the Con Con and then get them full combo anyway. That's super cool. He hard drew either Snowdrop or Lone Fire. One of the two. Wow! Rika is fun to play. I'm banning you. I fucking hate Kong Kong. Just burn in hell, you dumb piece of shit. You're gonna negate that? Because of course you are. It's not cheating. That's just what this fucking card does. Just do whatever the goddamn fuck you want, dude. Holy shit. Oh, I hate that deck. Just, I, yeah, no, sure, just be able to, just, oh! Please, please, can we ban Rick Con Con? I do not care about a single one of those other cards. None of them matter, except for that one. That's the only one that matters. That's the only one that is awful to play against and should not exist. No shot anyone in their right mind actually said, like, yeah, that's a good card. We should have that card. <clears throat> I've played Rika. It's not a fun deck to play. Whoever told you that it was a fun deck to play is lying to you. It's just another combo deck. It doesn't do anything unique or interesting except for Con Con, which is not a fun card to play against. It's a tragedy. That's what it is. This, this guy. No effect. Let's go Ash here. Send this guy. Summon Oak. Go to one. This guy's effect. Shuffle back. 
draw a card. Comedy. Okay. Normal summon Baylor. The formula. <clears throat> You'll go chain like one formula. Chain like two poplar. Put this guy into the back row. Okay, let's go L here. <clears throat> Immediately bring back this guy. Let's go for IP Mascarina. Let's go. Put that into the back row. That's something. Yeah, let's do this. for Selene here. I actually don't. Tragic. Okay. We'll do this. Send you. Summon this guy here. We'll go Flumberg. What do we want to put in the back row? I don't want to put IP on screen. Yeah, let's do that. Should I have put D of Elstar? Maybe. It is 60 cards. So there's that. Ew. Sure. If you have grass, you have grass. There's nothing I can do about that, but Void Imagination, I'm absolutely stopping. A million percent I'm doing that. Bring back formula. Sure. Yeah, sure. Just for free, just grab grass. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's crazy. What a crazy concept. Isn't that fun? Oh cool, we're playing fun cards. Hooray. I love grass. Grass is such a cool thing. <clears throat> I'm so glad that we have access to that card. It, it makes deck building so interesting.
could pop this guy. It's honestly not a bad idea. But they summon this guy who stops me, doesn't it? No, I'm thinking of a different guy. I do probably want to pop the Decatron, to be fair. Actually pretty good for me if they vanish here. Because I still think I get the pops, if I'm not mistaken. I could do something without that. Destroy them. And you can do special summon this card. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually like the best outcome for me here. Him actually not allowing me to summon the Promethean Princess, I think, was a big mistake. Because now I basically get to play the game for free. And I'll have to deal with anything. Uh, let's summon you and you. Yeah. Though they do do inherent summons, right? They're inherent summons. They're not, like, activated effects. Uh, we'll go pop large in one. Shrink two. Uh, could go Selene here. Special summon back to that guy. Which would give me a. Give me a I think I'll hold just in case I want to go for like unicorn. Why would you print a card that has a once per turn on it? That'd be silly. Yeah, sure. Okay. No. No, I'd rather keep my target protection like you. And I'd rather have you keep the levels on field. Can this be... Can this only be summoned once? cards. They're so stupid. At least they didn't mill snow. Snow, sure. Sure. Or some Banish Baron. Cool. Mm -hmm. Heat 
Duh. Sure. He duh. If you're grabbing Ash, I feel like you have something. And I'm just not gonna allow that. This also cuts you off of uh, going into any of your guys, because he's a level 11. Right? That's how that works. Oh, he can get Decatron with Ash. That's comedy. No, it doesn't cut him off. Cool. <sighs> Effect monsters, that's what it is. Sure. Pass. Cool. Snake Eye is fair and balanced. True. True, it is fair and balanced. Alright, normal summon jet. You can, you can vanish card. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. They're probably gonna banish the jet, which is fine, I think. And their monster effect is actually you can tribute to negate. Sure, sure. I'll take that. Pitch this one. Sure. Uh, can't quite go sleep. We'll go. Well, can't go keep that. <clears throat> Not there, at least. Um, well, I guess I could. Could I have Poplar here? So I have access to Poplar, right? Does that do anything? No, not particularly. Except for some of the guy. <sighs> I would imagine they have, like, Imperm or something like that. Oh, it's transaction. That's what it is. Cool. Uh huh. Yeah. Target. Yeah. Nuke the field. Sure. No, oh, it's just the Decatron this time. Oh, just kidding. They haven't finished because, of course. This is the monster in the gate, right? Uh, okay. We'll target the heat on. This isn't a once per turn, is it?
I still have a target for the Snake Eye Ash now? I don't think I do. Tragic. It's just Decatron left, right? Damn. Please be the literal last card in your deck. Please. Motherfucker. Ah! It's fine. Grass is such a cool card, dude. I'm so glad that, that card exists. I love that interacting with my opponent means that they get to just freely have a uh, have grass and then and then just fucking kill me because that card existed. Doesn't matter what deck you're playing, if you activate it, you win the game. Imagine having the lock of my opponent there. That's crazy, dude. So you better just shut the fuck up. Whatever, please. Oh my gosh. Maxi. Yeah? Poplar. Poplar. Cool. Uh, this guy. Karibo. Effect. Let's go for the Snake Eye Ash. Sending these two for Oak. Let's go with Oak Effect. Original Sin, Tribute, Swing Jet, This guy <clears throat> we'll go you summon poplar, summon oak. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go elf 
formula. Let's go Jet Synchron. Pitch. Valor. What the fuck am I doing? I now lose to evenly, which kind of sucks. Which I shouldn't be losing to. I didn't mean to click the Blomberg, I meant to link it off. I was gonna go Promethean, Promethean bring back the Flumberg, Flumberg put the IP into the back row, and then that would have given me access to, I don't know, I still wouldn't have had much. I still would have needed to have my opponent interact with me. <clears throat> How much do you want to bet they have the, uh... No, they don't. Great. Fantastic. Why did I... Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> second one. Incredible. Yeah, you can't do anything else. You can't get the surge. It doesn't fucking matter. You can't do damage. Fuck you. It didn't matter. Didn't matter if it was on purpose. That card stops. <laughs> anyway. You didn't see a single Ricka player? Aren't you lucky? No shot, you're playing Dark Ruler as well. That's so dumb. Alright, well. <clears throat> Look, you either got it or you don't. No, Dark Ruler's just bad right now because of Snake Eye. Like, Snake Eye doesn't give a shit. I mean, it kind of does, but not really.
What is with no one running hand straps right now? What the hell is happening? What's up, Dark Link? How's it going? I also hope we don't encounter any more Rekka. Phase, something like that. <clears throat> they give me a fire, by the way. Which is comedy. Uh, we'll go these two. Uh, Chinook 1, Poplar, Chinook 2, Oak, Target Birch. something like this. Um, could go elf with this and this. I guess Avo's pretty good. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I didn't mean to click. Yes, on the Masquerina there. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Poplar. Bro's name is Nah, I'd win. Of course it's Makanko. Uh, sure. No.
Nah, you'd lose. Not great. Yeah. I'll draw Imperm or Triple Attack. Trust. Trust. Bro, why can't I draw like this? Why can't I draw the one of them? My opponent draw no hand traps. Triple tack, imperm. One time. Triple tack or imperm? Please. They're not even playing around in Nibiru. <laughs> Damn. Like every hand trap cooked them here. Of course. Why would they not have banished my one of? It's my fault, right? It's my fault that I'm... That I'm uh, losing, right? Like, they, obviously it's my fault. I drew two fucking Flambergs. Are you... Are you kidding me? Two of them?
Imagine not drawing both Flumbards. Imagine. Because I can't. to grab the Flumberg, so the Flumberg can put I think I into the back row. I guess I could put Formulas and Chrome into the back row, that might be a little bit better. No, nah, we'll put I think Mascarino. I get even lead and it doesn't matter. <sighs> Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, close enough. Yes, it'd be like if you drew into two of the Unchained Soul of Disaster. Triple attack. Incredible. Here's a roach. Man, your hand must be bad. Chalk nine. Oh, chalk nine? Sure. Chalk nine is fine. <clears throat> I know what you're doing. No, no. You can make Zeus, and that's it. The question is, can they kill me? No. The answer, the answer to that question is no. They cannot.
pretty sure. Grab what? Whip tail, I guess. Grab Thoroughblade. Borba. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna stop you right there. I will pop the lar. Is that just pure Zodiac? If so, that's crazy. Alright, it's gonna be Double Flomberg, uh, Snake Eye Ash, Driver, and the original Sin. And they're gonna have Ash Blossom Imperm. I was surprisingly close. I don't know if that was blind second Zodiac. You're a fucking Max here. Okay. Alright, I'll grab Birch here. Alright, free special. Alright. One for one. Hitch Jet. Maxi. Summon uh, Poplar. Poplar. Grab Field Spell. Field Spell. You. Cool. I'll go Jet. I'll give him two draws. Birch here. See if this baits out anything. Like an ash blossom. Bro, what are you thinking about? Hello? Any day now. Come on. Oh, 
<sighs> sure. They have a cold by then. Like, guarantee it. That's what they were thinking on. Uh, I'm gonna put the other Flomberg into the back row then. To potentially force out the cold by. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it! Look at that! Activate your effect. And they drop let me fucking cross out. No shot! Your hand was that fucking good. Damn, dude. I wish I could draw like that. Why can't I draw like that? We know that they have a Vsauce in their hand. They get out a Calarium or a Mana Spell Trap. Yep, at the Counter Trap, sure, sure. Uh huh, effect. Uh huh, effect. Yep. I like that I draw two two cards that don't do anything here. That's great. Thanks, game. A hand a hand trap, please. Yeah, Lightheart. Sure. I asked for a hand trap and I got a hand trap. It just wasn't the right hand trap. Thank you, game. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're going to be able to get to Baron before I can get to mid. You're not playing Stardust Dragon. No shot you're playing Stardust Dragon here. Disgusting humans. And they grab Dispotter. And I can't do anything about that. That's crazy. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so fucking cool? That they still just get to kill me from here?
Nib 2 Electric Boogaloo. Cool. And then they make Amory Tara. And then I cry. Can they negate? They can't. Yeah. Wait, no. This has to put back a monster? No. Yep, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yep. Think off into Vsauce and Tara. Sure, sure. Activate the effect of the Vsauce and Tara. I'm going to Ash Blossom there. They are going to go Bestial Dispotter to negate the effect. And then I'm going to go for the Veiler. Just kidding, they don't. What? Am I dead? No. Yeah, here they can go cook fucking cross sheep. Yeah. I forgot. No, I'm, I'm still just dead. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so fucking sick? You know what? I will allow... <sighs> yeah, I'll allow that. It turns on Gamma, so maybe, maybe I don't die. Pretty sure I do. Yep. Please do something else. Please be greedy. Fucking Sure. Okay, I'm gonna Gamma here. Gamma, 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 even though you're unaffected. This destroys? Right? And they're just fully, completely fucking unaffected? Or is it just monster effects? Oh. Fuck you, game. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. Thanks, game. Thank you, game. Yep. I got the one opponent who's playing this fucking Stardust Dragon, and because of that, I lose the game. Because my opponent just... I didn't see the Nibiru fast enough, my opponent saw everything, I don't get to play the game because fucking Maxi is a cool card. Wasn't that such an interesting Maxi game? Kill yourself. I'm so done. I...
Is this target? No. It's just no place. No, it actually just changes it to zero. Do you have Cosmic too? I'll take it. If they summon one more time, I get a nib. Which is highly unlikely. But there's a chance. I'm pretty sure I just died here. Please special summon one more time. Please. Yep.
Tashira cards are whitelisted. There's no shot they're not. There's no shot Konami doesn't have preference to them. That's insane. Twice now I've drawn bird. Disgusting. Short game. Short. Bro, put on your tinfoil hats, because there's no shot that's real. most likely or they're just bad one of the two which given the mate it might just be that they're bad oh, they drew... it's me they drew flomberg it's me chat no no fucking shot dude Yeah, I'm gonna ash that. Do you have called by? Called by here goes crazy. It's gamma. Okay, sure. Thank you. 
tragic. This is probably what I should do. Let's play the Sunlight Wolf. Appa? Comedy. Okay, so I have to deal with nothing? That's crazy. I'm wondering what we're waiting for. Do they have nib, maybe? That'd be interesting. I was summon number five. Do I even go dragon? We're not imperm the Borbo because my opponent doesn't understand how my cards work. Clearly. Oh. 
Oh, he could still do quite a lot. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm lying to you. Yes, sir. Can I OZK here? Mm. No, I don't think I can. with tail attach. Do they have maxi too? Kashira cards are mandated to be just like anything with Kashira is guaranteed to win you the game because Konami has a predetermined set of instructions and it just says yeah everyone's just going to uh f up against kashira or they're gonna draw god hand i hate it here i like i i don't know what other proof you need other than that fucking win streak are you kidding me i didn't even play poorly today it just yeah i You can get to dual level max with literally anything. It does not matter how good you are as a player. It's entirely determined by luck. As we just proved. And how we've been proving it this entire time. I am unlucky. It's a feature. If you play 30% cash cards, the secret skill allows you to always open unicorn. It's a feature. Not entirely, but yeah, luck has a lot to do with it. It has more to do with it than your skill. I can say that with confidence. In this metagame, in this game, just in general, it has a lot more to do with luck than it does skill. Or deck building, or anything like that. If we're talking like the TCG... No, you actually have to be good at that game. Right? Skill draw sense wind. <laughs> it's heavy starter. But yeah. Maxi, response, lose. At least, at least, goes first, win. No. What? Not even a chance. Bro, it has nothing to do with the coin flip. It has nothing to do whether or not you go first or second right now. I refuse to believe hand traps are real. Well, there you go. <laughs> Unicorn birth is the modern Alistair invocation. True. Reach to a level max with Trivi Karma and Foolish when Trivi Karma can't search Pressured Planet, and I realized it too late. Exactly. Exactly.
But, it, it, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing that I can do as a player in Master Duel to, like, be better. It's just, it's just be lucky. Which I'm not. I wish I was as lucky as, like, Joshua Schmidt or someone like that. I'm just not. And I guarantee every single one of, like, those players would be like, oh, no, it's not about luck. It doesn't matter how lucky you are. And it's like, no, no, no. I've seen you play the game. There is a big difference between when you draw your opening hand. I, I could play the exact same deck. Joshua Schmidt will draw an opening hand and we'll see five playable cards. Every single one of them will be goaded. I will draw an opening hand and I will see one playable card and four bricks. I only play four bricks. Holy shit. <laughs> Is it confirmed? I see no confirmation. Do I need to restart the game? Oh, you're, you're asking a question. Uh, it is unconfirmed. Sorry, I literally didn't see the question mark because I am terrible at reading. But yes, it, as of right now, it is unconfirmed that we are getting Unchained in the next pack. It's likely. But there's no confirmation. So I'm not going to act like that's going to happen. But that's what I'm personally saving for. If we get something else, if we end up getting like, what else, what else do we not have? We don't have the rescue ace support. We don't have the new pearly support. I'm still surprised they haven't given us pearly. Please give us pearly, please. Uh, we haven't gotten, what else are we missing? We're missing something. We're missing Centurion. No, there's something else. There's something else from one of, one of the decks that we're missing. I know Fire King. Oh, we're missing Arius. That's what we're missing. We're missing Chimeras, or all of the Illusions, really. Although I would imagine the Illusions would probably be all in one pack. And they're like all gonna be URs and stuff like that. Do I think a Mulligan feature in Master Duel could make the games less stressful? No, they would make them more stressful. Here's the thing. I think a lot of people... I. When people think of that idea, they think of like... They think of like mulliganing in Magic, where it's really not that big of a deal. But what you have to think about is not mulliganing in Magic, but mulliganing in something like Duel Links where restart was a broken skill until they basically said, cool, if you activate restart, you can't play the game on the first turn. You can set cards, you can normal summon cards, you can't activate any effects, basically. It's like, oh, cool. Let's not do that. Because when it wasn't literally that, it was a broken skill. Right? So now imagine that in regular Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, cool, just mulligan again, get a perfect hand, win the game. And it's like, eh. Um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work like that. If they were to have introduced that at the very start of Yu-Gi-Oh, it could have changed the way that, like, card design worked and stuff like that. And, yeah, it, it could have worked, right? Um, and it's not like something like Pokemon where you need a specific card to even start the game. So, like, a mulligan works like that, right? Where it's like, oh, if you see the, if you don't see the card, you have to mulligan. But Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't do that, right? So it's just like, yeah, you just, you just play it. Would it work for a best one? No. It's it's terrible. Could make for an interesting setting in a duel room. You could also just restart the game. I guess then only one person would have to mulligan. And you could have, like, both... You wouldn't have to have both players mulligan. But... That's, you know, negligible. I mean, there's a lot of cool features that they could add to duel rooms. Are they ever gonna? No... Because dual rooms are tragic.
I don't know if Mulligan makes breaking impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. That's not, no, no, no. Yes, you would still be able to like brick twice. That's still something that could happen. I'm not saying it's not. It's just like, when I think of mulliganing, now I think of the restart skill from Duel Links, which literally made a deck tier one. Like the deck was okay because it was kind of inconsistent, but because of the mulliganing, it just allowed you to, to play the game scot-free, right? And you couldn't draw the following turn. So it was just like, yeah, you just... It, it's still insane. Right? Um, even if it was like, oh, draw five, put back one, like it is in uh, Magic, where you like actually have to put back a card, even that would be still too powerful. Four card hands are enough at this point. Yeah. But even then, it's like, it, it just makes it more, almost even more high roll than it currently is. Do you think this Yu-Gi-Oh could benefit from choice restrictions like other card games? What do you mean by that? Well, this is meta stable. Do you mean like, like how a supporter card in Pokemon can only be played once per turn? So it'd be like, oh, you can only activate a spell card once per turn or something along those lines. Because if that is what you're referring to, or even like an energy system, no. Just like any sort of mana, energy, restriction no the reason being is because then it's not Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh is Yu-Gi-Oh I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh the way that it is right I like playing the big combos and you know not having those resource restrictions and seeing all of the crazy things that they can come up with and uh, not having that one turn that's just like cool play a mana pass or like cool just like draw a card pass Like if certain cards cannot be played with other cards. Mm. Minus one to shuffle brick to just to get another chance of brick. Yeah, that's just no. That's not how a mulligan would work. It'd be more so minus one to shuffle back to shuffle back a brick to get a chance to draw a full combo plus protection. Right. So it'd be like if I ended up with two Flomberg in hand, I could shuffle that back draw, you know, draw five, see, you know, Snake Eye Ash, Diabell Star, called by, cross out, uh, original sin, put back the original sin, and then just go, cool, normal summon Ash, play the game, and then my opponent can't do anything. That'd be more like what it, what it is. It just allows you to basically look at your hand, go, this doesn't do it, put it back, Draw another hand and go, this does it. And then kill your opponent. <laughs> Bastion playing Mallet and other consistency cards because he's not the MC. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh needs anything in particular other than, like... Okay. What it does need is alternate formats in any way shape or form some way to have some cards that can be played in other ways so that where it's, it's not all just one format um and i know technically it's like oh but master duel and then like tcg but those kind of basically just use the same cards when sidecars would have to improvise true you would love an unlimited format. I'm going to tell you right now. Bye, Digi. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to tell you right now. It would be really cool for like five minutes. And then it would just be like FTKs and tier limit mirror matches. But like not fun tier limit mirror matches. Like the stuff that's literally just cool. I'm going to mill you out of your entire deck. Cool. <laughs> A tryout event maybe? Do you really want that? 
again, maybe as a tryout event, sure. But I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's not, it's not great. It only lasts like three days. Tier would probably be FTKing you too. Yeah, I know. You know, summon, uh, what is it? Cyberstein, make exterior, etc., etc. Yeah. Um, but other than alternate formats, what Yu-Gi-Oh needs is specific balancing. Like the TCG does this pretty well, where they actually balance for best of threes, right? Because here's the thing: is skill drain a problematic card in the TCG? No. Why? Because you have games two and three with which to deal with them with things from your side to deck. And because there aren't as many blowout cards like Maxi to potentially slow you down or stop you, it works, right? Things like Summon Limit, things like Anti-Spell, etc., right? Those are technically still problems, and I would still love to see that those were, would get limited or banned even. But when it comes to like something like skill drain that is notoriously bad in master or like notoriously problematic in master duel doesn't really matter in the tcg because you have those second second and third games right and you have the side deck you have the ability to just be like oh i can't win this game let me go next game right the side deck helps so much right for something like master duel the way that you could fix that and make it better for a best of one is getting rid of those high variant cards Things like Evenly Matched, Dimension Shifter, the Floodgates, right? Um, you know, all of the Barrier Statues, Skill Drain, Evenly Matched, or um, Ghost and Match, Rivalry, etc., right? Um, obviously the Roach, but the Roach has never been fair, obviously. Uh, but getting rid of those high variant cards to allow for more consistent play and not have, like, a game where you're just blown out because you didn't draw the out. Stuff like that is how you would, like, make Yu-Gi-Oh better, right? Yeah, the TCG ban list is not perfect. Far from it. I don't think any ban list is perfect, and I don't think there's a way to make a perfect ban list. That, that's just not realistic. But in terms of, like, actually making decisions that make sense, the TCG does fairly balance the game, right? If a deck is... Maybe they'll kill a deck too quickly from it becoming meta, like they did with Pearly and Super Heavy Samurai. That was a little frustrating. Um, but then Pearly has stuck around, so it's not really that big of a deal. But Super Heavy Samurai, yeah, they just, like, basically neutered that deck. To be fair, it wasn't fun to play against, but still. First we ban all the level 1 fire monsters. That is a terrible take, but sure. Perfect with product cells in mind. Even with that, it's still not great. But yeah, I guess a little bit better. Because there are still some decisions with the TC TCG ban list that just don't make sense. Um, you know, like Shifter still being around at 3, right? Um, I'm trying to think of a few other things. Like Baron still being around, access code. Maybe less so. Maybe that's just my personal opinion. I'm trying to think of like what the current ban list is. I don't think there's anything like too egregious. There's like a few floodgates here and there that are annoying, but I just want the game to go more in the direction of decks with infinite grind game and low ceiling than super heavy samurai or stun style deck. Yeah, so mid range. Yeah, and I and I would agree. I think most people do enjoy that style, right? So like, that's one thing that I really like about Labyrinth, right? Is that sure you can kind of blow out the opponent and prevent them from playing the game with things like Eradicator um, or Dimensional Barrier or something like that, right? But most of the time, that's not how you're realistically winning the game. Sometimes you can get really big hands, really like high roll hands and be like, cool, I'm going to rip like two cards out of your hand before you even play the game while still having full combo and having multiple other interactions. Sure, sometimes that happens. That happens with almost every deck, right? 
most of the time it's like, cool, I'm going to nickel and dime you. And just slowly build up advantage over you. Voiceless Voice is kind of like that. Yeah, kind of. Tri Brigade is like a perfect example of this. Uh, right. Where it's just like, they're never going to just hard prevent you from playing the game. Most of it is just, cool, I'm going to get massive advantage off of Revolt. I'm going to get, you know, Fractal to, to generate me more advantage. I'm going to be able to, like, normal summon my guys and then, you know, force interactions in that way. While still, like, having smaller interactions here or there with, like, hand traps and the like. Right? Um, the sprite was like this as well. Where it's just like, cool, I can maybe set up an Omni Negate. Or, you know, like a carrot and a, and a red. But then that doesn't, you know, that's that. And it also gets rid of cards on my board. Um, but then I also have the ability to, like, continually play because, you know, blue consistently searches additional cards and stuff like that. Even tier was like this. We're just like, cool, I'm just going to play the game forever. Are my cards crazy? Not necessarily. Not individually, I should say. VS is amazing for that. Yep. Every card either pluses you or negs the opponent. Kind of. It's way more, almost every card pluses you. Most of the cards don't actually really do all that much unless they're very specific, right? And that's what I think makes VS very interesting is that it's not just like, oh, cool, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to negate you. I'm going to banish a card. It's like, cool, if I have very specific situations, like Raisin in the correct zone to be able to blow up all the monsters in that zone, then like... That's great. Some of them also do nothing. Yeah. But I mean, you know, looking at like, oh cool, I can change a battle position. You know, or I can, you know, have you lose a bit of attack and defense. You know, you have Caesar Valius that actually like pops a card, right? Or, you know, a burn effect. But most of it is like, I am generating more advantage for myself. And I think that's really where a lot of like, Yu-Gi-Oh shines. Pearly and Flu are also like that. Ex uh, excluding Barrier Statue, of course. Yeah. Yep. That's what makes them pretty interesting. Is It's that idea of like, instead of specifically stopping what you're doing, it's, I am going to generate more advantage for me and just, like, just basically put more stuff on the board than you can deal with. Have I tried VS Snake Eyes yet? No. But yeah. Decks like that are fun. Branded's similar, where it's just, like, well, except it does have broken, busted cards. Like Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade is crazy. But Brandon does kind of have that as well. They should have made Mirror Jade target. Really moved at the speed of light. I don't really count that deck as... A deck of 21 e tellies as advantage over time. I mean... I guess... But I mean, neither is, like, tier. Neither is, like, most decks, if you really think about it. I mean, sprite technically is similar, but... More so what I'm trying to say is that it's less about specifically having stuff to stop the opponent and more so about generating more advantage than your opponent can deal with, right? Which is where things like Labyrinth, where things like uh, Vanquish Soul, where things like Pearly tend to do things, right? Yes, obviously, they need ways to interact with the opponent. Obviously. But it's not so much about that as it is, I'm going to have more stuff than you. I'm going to be able to have my smaller points of interaction over the course of a game 
matter more because I'm generating more advantage for myself. Right? Runic is a great example of this. It's that, like, nickel and diming effect. Right? It is annoying, though, because it's banishing your resources as well. But for the most part, a lot of it is, like, I'm just going to consistently get more of my cards online. I'm going to get more of my cards online. That's what I'm doing. And I think that is a little bit more fun. And I think Konami has kind of moved, has like started moving towards that more um, with things, even with things like Snake Eyes, right? Right? Because like each one of these doesn't necessarily do a whole lot other than just generate insane advantage. The problem is that that then allows for hand traps to go crazy, which can kind of be unfun. I don't know if there's any, like, specific thing that would make Yu-Gi-Oh good or would be more, would be better. I do like mid-range decks, but there are a lot of people that love combo decks, like Super Heavy Samurai and the like, you know. And there's a lot of people that love stun and not playing the game, which is surprising, but it's actually true. I've met them. There are people that love control decks. People will really hate Tempai Dragons in Best of One Master Duel. I will. Snake Eyes being in one continuous line of uh, A-holes recycling themselves is pretty rad. I agree. Yeah, I think cutting OTK options, which is why I don't like access code, because it's just like, cool, you, you don't have to do anything. You just kill the opponent. You just make this guy and he dies, right? Um, and then also, yeah, like allowing the opponent to play the game and not just saying, cool, you can't activate an effect. That's really annoying. But beside the point. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, that like us very much. We'll appreciate it. And if you want to check out more content like this as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.